Your environment and who you're around can affect your relationship with God. Believe it or not, your environment will persuade you. Your environment will condition you. Your environment and who you hang around is important because it can convince you to act one way or another. It can convince you to be closer to God or it can convince you to get farther away from God. There's no in between when it comes to who you're around and who you surround yourself with. We are all a product of our environment. We're a product of what we listen to. We are a product of the things we do, the people we're around, the energy we surround ourselves with. It's going to depict how we act, right? It's gonna depict our relationship with God. God needs us to change our environment, but you know how you change your environment? It starts with a decision. It starts with a decision that you're going to bring more positivity into your environment. You're gonna bring God more into your life. You're gonna bring God more into the people around you. Regardless of who the people may be, right? Try to bring God and bring God into the fold in every single one of your relationships. Every single person you come in contact with, involve God in. Involve God in every single talk every single little conversation you have, right? Now, I'm not saying you gotta talk about, I mean, you, you should be wanting to talk about him 24 seven, but I'm not saying at every single moment in time, it has to be all about God, right? Though it should be all about God. But what I'm trying to tell you is your environment will create boundaries, healthy boundaries between you and somebody else. If the person that can't withhold the boundary doesn't want to have the boundary, then that's, that's on them at the end of the day. Maybe you shouldn't have that relationship anymore. Maybe you shouldn't have that friendship anymore. Maybe there needs to be a conversation to be had, right? Because God knows that the people we surround ourselves with, and we even know as human beings that, you know, the people around us persuade us, right? Can motivate us and can push us to new heights or to try to devalue us to try to make us feel like we're nothing, to try to push us away from God's desires, right? The people around you sometimes can, can can fool you. The people around you can tell you, oh, it's cool to get, you know, to have sex with all these women. Like, it's always good. Like, you know, corn is good or, you know, all, all these different things of the world are good for you. It's good for your mind. It's, it's good for your body. It's physically, it, it feels good, right? But what does God say? Your environment is creating a negativity around you. And you know why you struggle to get closer to God? Because you don't accept God. You don't listen to God. You don't keep God, the right people around you. You don't create the right relationships. You don't involve yourself in the right relationships. You try to involve yourself in every single relationship. And that's just not the case especially in the Christian walk. The thing is, when it comes to this life of Christianity, it is not easy to find people. If you're actually fully trying to get in Christ, this life as a Christian is not easy. You're gonna have to separate yourself from the rest of the crowd because we're, because biblically we're supposed to be the light of the world, right? We're supposed to be different from everybody else. We're not supposed to conform to this world, right? We're supposed to have a change of mindset, a change of heart. And that's not only from a personal out, like in, in the look outlook. That's from the people you surround yourself with, the things you watch, the people you walk and talk with, the people you spend the most time with on a regular basis, whether that's family, friends, your girlfriend, boyfriend, your dog. Those little those little relationships, those are important in creating who you are as a human being, in creating, you know. That, that, that positivity that you need, that right light that you need in your life, right? It's, it's, it's sad because, you know, you'll have people out here who say they want to become millionaires or say they want to be great at something. They want to be the greatest of all time in a sport or something. And you surround yourself with people who do the opposite. I'm not saying you can't be cool with anybody, right? I'm not saying you can't be you know, the, the bestest of friends. I'm not saying you can't be, you know what I'm saying, 
the closest and spend the most time with them. But I'm saying like, whenever you create these relationships with people, whenever you, you know, you walk in everyday life, realize the people you keep company with. The people keep company, you keep company with on a regular day basis. What are, not only, what are they adding to your life, right? But what are they taking from your life? Are they really, are they taking more than they're giving? Are they adding value or are they devaluing you? Are they waste are they are they getting you closer to God or are they taking you away from God? Because if they're taking you away from God, I think you need to rethink some things. I think you need to recheck your friends. I think you need to figure out who you should really keep close in your cards, in your deck of cards. I think you should really look at who you spend time with. Don't waste your time on people who are trying to waste your time. Don't waste your time on, you know, failed relationships. Don't don't waste your time on people who are con continuously playing games with you. Don't waste your time cuz God has all the, has he's he's the controller of time. Time doesn't stop. And as you continuously continuously keep these people around you, it's going it's like you're in a six it's like you're in a casket, bro. It's like you can't get out. And you're being pushed deeper, deeper into the ground in your casket. It got dark in this video, right? What I just said was dark, but it's real. It's real, bro. Like, what people don't understand is, is that people, this, and there's a lot of negativity. It's a lot of negativity. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna be doing a bunch of edits on these videos anymore. So y'all just gonna, y'all know my, y'all know me, bro. Y'all know these videos. You're a real one if you watch all the way to this video, just to the point of this video. People, we know this about society. People are going to either add positivity to you or negativity to you. But what has God done for you? Has he added negativity? Yeah, he may have tested you. Yeah, he may have put you or allowed things to happen to you. But the outcome is beautiful because he's there's a blessing in everything we go through, right? There's a blessing in through the failed relationships. There's a blessing in the failed friendships. There's a blessing in the hard times. There's always a blessing in that. You just don't realize it because you see what you're going through right now. Cause you can't see the future. You don't see a positive out outcome in the future for yourself. But once you realize like, look, my company is keeping me down. My company is, is, is like, think, think, think of the people, think of people as bad people as gnats right or mosquitoes they're always nagging at you you ever you ever had those people that always ask you and beg you for money they're like drake i need 20 or draco i need 20 dollars or let's say i don't know somebody that's watching this video um nick man can i borrow 30 20 can i borrow 20 bucks i'll pay you back right you give them 20 dollars you're like you know okay they're cool like they'll pay me back a couple months later man they, they still ain't paid you back Oh man, you hit them up. Oh man, bro, my bad. I'll pay you back on my next check. Okay, waiting a couple more months. Still ain't paid you back. What kind of people, what kind of person is that that doesn't keep a promise? God kept his promise, right? God kept his promise. People don't keep their promises. But those people who are asking you, you might, you're keeping them around you. So what's, what's the, What's really the problem? What's really the issue? Is it, is it them or is it you who doesn't, you know what I'm saying, address boundaries with people or who doesn't, you know, take control of the relationships in the, the company you keep? I'm saying, man, don't force, don't ever keep a relationship that isn't benefiting both parties. I'm not saying you can't, you can't receive you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you can't receive anything from people. What I'm saying is you can't you can't expect to grow in Christ with people who don't have the same mindset as you. You can't expect to grow with people who don't want to grow. It's pretty simple. It's like somebody that says, oh, man, I want to be rich. You say you want to be rich, right? But the person that the person you're friends with that does that wants to be rich isn't going to get a job or isn't doing the extra or who isn't going the extra mile to get to that standpoint. But then there's you 
learning all all that you all that you can about the economy, all that you can about you know stocks, all you can about money management, financials. You're looking, you're watching videos, you're taking classes, you're taking courses, you're doing what you can, you're doing your part so you can get to that level, right? Faith without works is dead, right? You have faith that you're gonna get there. But the people you surround yourself with are going to influence you in one way or another. And at the end of the day, it's up to you on who you choose to keep your, you know, who you keep, who, who stays around you. I mean, it don't get no simpler than that. It's just real talk, man. It's just, it's, and it's, I see it a lot. Like if you can't, if, especially if you're a little older now, the company you keep is super important. This is what I tell myself. You know, if, if, if it's, if it feels like it's a waste of time, I don't want to have anything to do with it. If I feel like it's not benefit, if it's, if it's not pushing me towards what God has for me, it's not benefiting. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of space. It's a waste of energy. You, you, you keep keeping people around you who are nagging at you and always wanting something for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Not wanting, I'm not saying you can't help nobody, you can't help anybody. I'm, I'm not saying that. But if God, if, if God has a bigger purpose for you and God, you know, has certain relationships in front of you for certain reasons, why are you keeping the wrong people around you? I'm telling you today, make sure you know and make sure you know that these relationships that you keep, you have to know who should be in your corner and who is trying to get you closer to God and who's, who's taking you away from God. I hope you learned something from this video, bro. Share this video with somebody that needs it. Uh, as always, man, God bless.